Question number six. Write recursive formula and general formula for the triangular numbers 1, 3, 6, 10. Now it is interesting to note that these numbers 1, 3, 6, 10 and so on, they are actually called triangular number mainly because if you arrange them, let's say you have one here, right? Then three could be arranged in a triangle. Do you see that? Triangle. So three, right? Now, next stage is to, to just increase this, right? So what you get here is another triangle and the number of dots on this triangle are six. Okay. So that is how you could build your triangle and you get the number of dots as 1, 3, 6, and 10. And that is the reason why this is called triangular number sequence. Perfect. Okay. Now let's see how to find general term. Now it is important to note that when we are talking about sequences, sequences could be arithmetic, geometric, or others, right? So, so remember this, when we are talking about sequences, they could be arithmetic, geometric, and others. So this belongs to the others category, right? So they could be linear, nonlinear, there are different kinds of sequences, all kinds of sequences. So a particular pattern is being followed, then the definition of sequences work. Now here, what is happening? Now if I have to go from 1 to 3, I basically add 2, right? Then from 3 to 6, I'm adding 3 and then I'm adding 4. Do you see that? So that is how we are actually getting our sequence, correct? So the rule is when you add a number, increase it by 1 each time. Is that clear to you? Correct. So, so that is the kind of rule which is being followed. How do I write this as a general term? So what is going to be the nth term? So you can see that the, the number here, which is 3, could be written as, so the first number is 1, correct? So let me make a table to, to help this out and derive the formula, right? So so as far as the, the first term is concerned, it is 1. The second number is 1 plus 2, and we get 3, right? The third number is 1 plus 2 plus 3, and we get 6. And the fourth number is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and then we get 10. So likewise, what you see this is sum of natural numbers, right? So, so as you move, the nth number will be sum of natural numbers. So that should give you the formula, right? So the formula, if there are four numbers, you get 10. When you multiply the two numbers n, which is 4, times 5, divided by 2, right? So the general term here, Tn, will be equal to half of n times n plus 1, which basically is the formula for sum of natural numbers. Is that clear to you, right? So, so that is how we are going to get the, the formula for this particular case, right? Now, how do we get the recursive formula? Recursive formula, how do we get? You have to figure out that. Let's see that. That is to say, we have to see, how do we get 10 from 6? If we know 6, how do we get 10? We are adding this number 4, which is our term number n. Do you see? Do you get the idea? How do we get 6 from 3? We are adding 3, right? Which is n. So that is how you get. So, so we could write here recursive formula. If T1 is 1, then Tn is Tn minus 1 plus n. Do you see that? So that becomes your 
recursive formula? This is a very beautiful question. Extremely important from test point of view. Perfect. So that is how you actually get your recursive formula for the given sequence. Is that clear?